easy call on table three with ace jack suited. Uh, this is a spot where if you have ace jack off suit, I would be, I would argue that you should think about what you are doing. But if you have ace jack suited, you should just uh, press the call like a robot, press the call button like a robot. Um, you know, the fact that our hand flops here, I'm going to check back versus a 67, 64. I just don't think he's going to fold very much, and we have a lot of showdown value with King High. I think that this is a good spot to, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, how often is he going to be checking Ace-Queen on this turn? I think pretty often. Uh, he opens 17%. We're, now nah, I don't like my bet, I'll, I'll, you know, now that I s see it out there. I, I just don't think he's going to have much of a check call range on this turn. So, you know, we can check back and decide to play poker if he bets. We can try and decide if he would go bet check bet as a bluff, which I don't think he would. I think that was the main reason that I think we have a very clear call and non-raise here again. He's just, yeah, he's just going to be doing a ton of that. Excuse me, the ace 10 deuce 5 texture, I think it was. Uh, 15, 12, don't have a lot of hands. First three bet in my sample, not going to not gonna put up resistance there. Uh, going to bet again on the turn. This player likes to show down lots of hands, so I think I can get non-ace x hands to fold on the turn. Uh, if we check check versus pocket sevens, you know I'm going to be proven wrong, but it's okay to be wrong. Leads out, I assume he had an ace the whole time and uh, make it easy fold, and really easy situation in which to two or three barrel on table two versus a small blind uh, small blind call of my middle position open, given the fact that we have real equity and should have fold equity on the first, second, and third barrels. Uh, easy fold table three. Don't open those hands if you don't fold three bets. Uh, so I guess there's been some interesting situations in the video so far. We've uh, I got to make an over bet. I got to make a uh, value bet with ace high. I've been doing a lot of bet folding been doing some judicious giving up. I've been three betting some marginal hands. The pocket twos uh, call, call, call was interesting. I think that that's a really clear spot to think about the uh, difference between a betting range and a, and a calling range uh, given a raise. And very easy versus a player whose name is Marcos My Fish. Very easy. I think we just go bet, bet, bet for value, to be honest. Uh, we timed out table two. I already forgot what we had. And, uh, you know, if he raises there, of course, we have a very easy snap fold. But I think the river bed is just half pot. We don't want to give him a reason to uh, snap fold the jack. So, and uh, of course, I just think he's never folding an ace versus that size, given the fact that he has that screen name. Uh, so, out position, easy bet, super easy turn barrel, and we're going to be betting the river for value a ton. Uh, one of the reasons that's an easy turn barrel is we can bet call the turn, given the fact that we're uh, drawing to the nuts. So we are going to bet call, and uh, I just don't think he's going to bluff the river. So if he raises river, it's kind of like, you know, what does the 1714 have if we have the ace of spades, the king of spades is on board? Like, you know, he has to have, he probably has no gap connectors even in his button calling range versus a cutoff open. But, you know, I still think he has enough flushes and can be doing this with uh, the occasional, uh, you see a funky ace three of hearts or uh, pocket fours. So here I'm going to three bet fold with pocket fours. Just don't think I'm going to be getting implied odds uh, against a player who's opening 80% on the button. 